Hello, welcome to episode 49 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, A Thousand One Movies You Must See Before You Die, 1932's Freaks. One of us, one of us, we accept the one of us. Classic line, absolutely classic line. In fact, when my my dad and my, my stepmom got married um, a few years ago, um, and it was a kind of a finally thing, they'd been together for like 20 years or something, they finally got married and uh, my cousins were saying, one of us, one of us. Uh, you know, it's just one of those lines that I think a lot of people know, even if they haven't seen the film Freaks, but uh, I was really surprised with this. I, I was intrigued to see it, uh, I will readily admit, um, it was maybe a bad thing, but I wanted to see the freaks in the film. I was intrigued, I'll say it, and I am intrigued by them in general. These people who are born with these these kind of deformities or differences. Um, and it's one of those films, I think, that really shocked people at the time when it came out, big time. Um, and I don't think it did very well. I think it was quite controversial, in fact. It may have even been banned in some places or censored, I don't know. In fact, it was censored, I know that for a fact. The film, the Freaks version of Freaks we have now is an hour long. The original version was an, was an hour and ten, 30 minutes. A complete tongue tie, then I'll leave that in. You can have that one for free. Uh, it's 90 minutes long, I think, and they cut out a lot of stuff. Um, and that was, that was it, cut, gone forever. So there'll be no extended cut of Freaks anytime soon. Uh, because it was it was that controversial, oh, which is sad. Cause I would have loved to have seen a fuller version of this film. But man, for an hour long film, um, it felt longer and not in a bad way. It felt like a fully rounded story that I was invested in, and by the end of it, I was satisfied. Um, well, I say satisfied, you know, but I, well, yeah, kind of satisfied. Yeah, actually, <laughs> thinking about it, if you've seen the film, um, it and I thought that it would be more of a just a showcase. You know, let's get some of these people who you know have no arms and no legs and put them in a film, you know, and make money off it. But no, this this has a story to it. Um, it's a circus, traveling circus, and um, we see these characters who perform at the circus. And there are a couple of people who don't have any deformities; they're just normal people. And we see how they interact with these quote unquote freaks. And kind of the main characters are these two. Um, I don't know what the PC term is. Dwarves, midgets, little people, I really don't know. Um, I'm, I'm not using it in derogative, so to me it isn't offensive. But you have these two small people um, who I believe were a part of a kind of uh, a sibling group of performers uh, for many years, you know, before the 30s and way after them. Um, and they're, they're German, or at least, I think they're American, and where they were in Germany or something, they have German accents and speak in German sometimes. Uh, a, a, a man and a woman. And they, uh, in fact, if they're all siblings, and that's kind of weird that a brother and sister played husband and wife, or not husband and wife, no, they, they were engaged to be married, these two small people. Um, but the guy, uh, Hans, he falls in love with this this you know, this tall, blonde, you know, beautiful woman who, who just wants to exploit him for money. Because she knows he has, a bit of, he has a bit of extra cash, and so she wants presents and stuff, and, and so she leads him completely down the garden path right just absolutely exploits him to the point where he kind of just leaves his you know his fiance the, the small woman uh and it's really sad to see that and, and to see a guy who you know i just felt like he played him so sweetly he just seemed like such a sweet guy and he even said to his his fiance he's like i i, I didn't want to hurt you i just i've fallen in love with someone else and i you know, just i loved how i didn't feel so like oh what a prick for for leaving his fiance. I you know you could see where he's coming from almost I guess and, and you just felt like what are you doing man you're such a nice guy don't do this to yourself don't do this to her who does love you you know and so I was really into the story and really hated this fucking bitch who who would just like was exploiting him for money uh, and then it just gets even darker you know and there's a couple of other characters in the film who I really enjoyed too a guy who plays a clown and then another another woman as well. And then you have all the other, the kind of, you know, again, quote unquote freaks in the film, um, you know, who have weirdly shaped heads, um, who, you know, there's a scene where you see some some people kind of get really angry that they're out of the, you know, the, the circus, and because they take them out for like a walk by a stream, and these, these normal people come around and they're really angry, like, get these freaks away, you know. So you see the disdain for them, and, and the film very much, I think, champions the freaks, and tries to... Uh, to humanize them in a world where most people probably didn't think of them that way, which is horrible. So I really liked that the film um, gave the power to them in a way, especially by the end, I, I felt. Uh, and, 
yeah, so, uh, where was I going with this? Uh, there's another guy who's like, uh, I think they, his nickname was Pillow Man. Um, this black guy who has no arms, no legs, but he can roll a cigarette with his lips and light it. And so they, that was his big trick, and they put it in the film, which was kind of cool. Um, and just, yeah, just really, uh, there's a guy who just, just has like, up to his rib cage, it ends, his body ends, so he's just on, he's just arms walking around, you know. And I was just thinking, how does he... How does he pee and poo? <laughs> so I just had all these questions, but um, it was it was interesting. It's something you don't really see in films. Is is these kinds of people, um, and it just seemed to work and fit. Was it exploitative? Maybe I suppose, um, but I just thought this, the main story was re was really strong because I really cared and I really wanted to see that that <laughs> I don't want to say it. I really wanted to see that horrible woman just just get a comeuppance, you know. And towards the end, you know, spoilers. She kind of does get her come up in in a in a pretty dramatic fashion, and I just it was a it was a, it was an ending I could really get behind, you know, even if it probably wasn't perhaps the nicest ending. So yeah, for me, Freaks, I I just thought it was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. Looking forward to watching it again and maybe showing it to Connie, who I think it's it'll be a tough sell to get her to watch it, but yeah, I'm, a great discovery. I really love this film and. Uh, and yeah, the, the main thing, you know, for me was literally just getting so involved in the story and so invested in it, even though it was only an hour long. Uh, and in that sense, it almost felt like kind of maybe a uh, an extended episode of an anthology series or something, But uh, which I think I, I might have said before about something else. But that's, that's kind of what it felt like, I guess, rather than a film. But then, no, I guess it did feel like a film because, like I said, it felt longer than an hour. Uh, I didn't feel like, oh, that was a short film. I just felt like that was a great film. So it just goes to show you sometimes you don't need to be really long to tell a really good story. If you if you if you pick your spots well and you make the the audience believe in the characters and which isn't hard to do with some of the characters in this film but you know to believe in the motivations uh, I, I, maybe it is a little thick, you know, a little broad in terms of the woman who's just like evil and just wants to get the money off this guy, I suppose, but it just worked for the, the feel of the film, I think. So there you go, that's freaks Definitely recommend you check it out, uh, and that's about it. Uh, and also, you know, a lot of the freaks in the film, again, quote unquote, um, they weren't really used a lot. You know, you could tell that you could tell some of them they weren't, you know, they weren't there to to act. You know, they were there to be in the film, uh, and they weren't overused in that in that sense. So it was really, it was more about the two the two little people, uh, and their their kind of drama and kind of the love triangle, perhaps. Uh, and that was kind of the main focus of the film. And the, the other quote-unquote freaks would, would would come in periodically. And I think that they were used perfectly and they weren't overused or uh, or whatever. So, yeah, that's about it. I think I've got all, that's all I've got to say about freaks. And I'll see you in the next video. All right, as you may have noticed, this isn't the end of the video. You might have noticed I didn't say, is freaks a film you must see before you die? And I guess I completely forgot to answer that question. This is now about three weeks after maybe even a month after I first watched Freaks and I was watching back my review and editing it and I thought man I really loved Freaks so I showed it to Connie we just watched it um, I enjoyed it again, no need to go into it any further just my, my same opinion stands what did you think of it? Oh, what's silly here is I have no idea what you said and so I don't know if I'm repeating what you've said it's fine. Well, well, well it's even better because you won't be you know going off of my opinion will be just... I just agree with this set, as I said in the other video. <laughs> what did you think? I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, it's weird, isn't it? Like, it is weird. Were they really Siamese, Siamese twins or yeah. did it just, you know, walk together? Well, you never saw them actually, like... Uh, well, considering the, the other freaks in the film, again, uh, quote-unquote freaks, um, you know, the people with all the deformities, then I yeah, don't see why... Yeah, but it's easy to make people look like they're Siamese twins. Anyways, uh, I was... Uh, oddly enough, I was the most baffled by um, Hans and... Fr Freda. Frida. The two dwarves in the film. Because they didn't look like the f normal dwarves that we see now. Or normal little... They were basically just... They just looked like kids. Because when they first popped up, I was just thinking, wow, that, that boy can really act. He, he, he acts like he's an old man. <laughs> Look at the expressions on his face and he's saying, like, I can only love one woman, the one I'm going to marry. And I'm like, oh, that's cute, isn't it? And then he tells me he's 30 and I'm like, 
Yeah, he was it's a... not cute anymore. It's weird because he sounds like an eight-year-old boy, yeah. and he looks like one. No, not even eight. He looks like a five-year-old. Does not... Yes, five or six-year-old, and no. and the girl as well. I was just thinking, oh, they're so adorable. How how do they make the kids act so well back then? And it's like, no, they're they're just little people who walk like kids. <laughs> No, but like usually little people walk like the other dwarfs in a thing, you know, because... You know. Well, there's different types of it, so... Yeah, but I just haven't seen much of that. And so, and it wasn't just that, it was their faces, you no know, wrinkles, they didn't look old. They just had those chubby cheeks like a five and six year old does, and it was odd. I wonder how old they got and stuff. The guy with no lower body... Mm -hmm. It's amazing how fast he could run. <laughs> With just his hands. Yes, incredible. He, he could probably run as fast as I, I run almost. I don't run very fast, but that was like, it was almost kind of creepy to watch because it went so fast, you know? Right. But I understand as well because he, he his upper body was so short, he had a lot of range with his mm. arms to actually move fast. It's the guy with no arms and legs. My god, that was so cool when he looked that match. <laughs> it's like, can you do any tricks? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's like lit. And it was so casual, like, you know, just like watching a normal guy just. You know, like, but with no. It was amazing. Yeah. Other than that, uh, the story uh, wasn't much really for me. <laughs> it was like, well, we gotta put a story into this. Oh, let's just make it this. Like, I would have just enjoyed to see, like, more of a normal, like, what a day in their life would have been like, not something dramatic. I think it kind of uh, ruined it a bit. Okay. I, I didn't need that drama, drama, because mm. it just made it seem fake. If they just, you know, if it was just a day on tour or something, even if it was just interviews, you know, acting like that. Yeah, so story-wise, I didn't think it was great. Okay. Um, but, you know, ingredient-wise... Ingredient-wise? <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, just people-wise, I guess. <laughs> you just enjoyed seeing the freaks, let's just, let's just say that's right. Yeah, and I just wanted them to, you know, hang out or whatever. I, I liked the wedding up until she freaked out. I didn't like the, the normal people. Oh, or actually, I did like the clown guy and and Venus. Yeah. Those two I liked. Yeah. But the part with the that was just uh, it was okay. alright. But it could have been better if it was just more normal. You know, <laughs> it's not normal, but you know what I mean. Okay. So uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So we we very much well not very much but we we do have quite a disagreement there, which is interesting. So we'll just we'll just go to the do you think it's a film you should see? Yeah. Before you real. Yeah. Because of the, I'm the glad freaks. I saw it. Well, yes and no. Well, it's an old movie. 30, 32. 32. I think uh, most of the acting was really good. And I'm thinking, well, probably most of these uh, not normal people are not actors. <laughs> uh, are not actors, but they did really, really good, yeah. I think. It uh, must be really hard to find people like that and then make them act. Well, I, that's where I, that's why I think the film is so great because yeah. you have the story, which means you don't have to rely the the whole film on these people who you know aren't really act. Well, I suppose they are actors. They're they're pr probably all circus performers and stuff. But I liked how spare. Like I've said it before, so I'm just saying it for your benefit. But I liked how sparingly the the quote unquote freaks came in throughout the film. Um, because, I mean, it is fascinating to see them. I understand you want to see more of it and stuff, but um, the story worked for me in that respect. Mm. And how it tied into... I like the story with the Siamese twins. I like the story that was with funny. the clown yeah. and, the, and Venus. I, I liked, uh, you know, st stuff like that. Mm. I just love how the guy with no arms or legs had a knife in his mouth. <laughs> and I'm just thinking... What was he going to do with What it? are you going to do? Like, there, there's... So easy to just dodge that, but yeah, it was just a story with the the wedding part and stuff mm. that threw me off. I thought the wedding scene was great. Yeah, the wedding scene was great. You just said it threw you off. No, the, the wedding part that they were gonna, you know, 
Oh, the whole the whole idea of the it. The whole idea of it. Well, no, I totally bought into it. You had this evil woman who just wanted this money, and so she married someone, and then, you know. We've seen this in films before, people marrying people for their money exactly. and trying to bump them off and stuff. But right? now they have so much more potential doing other stuff. <laughs> anyway, uh, for me, it is a film I must see before you die, absolutely, because of the quote-unquote freak aspect, but also I think it's a really well-done film. It's a shame the full version is, is gone, but I still think an hour long it really works. And, uh, yeah, it felt like longer. It did, yeah. yeah it is. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, a lot of scenes and... Yeah. We had to put the subtitles on because I couldn't understand what they were saying. Yeah, I could, but Connie couldn't. Some of the, the accent and stuff. And, and also, finally, we're going to have a quick third opinion from my good friend Ryan Chatway to see if he thinks it's a film you should see before you die. Is Freaks a film you must see before you die? I would say yes. It's different, it's kind of weird, but it has a very powerful message. And I think that for those of you who haven't seen a lot of films during the pre-code era, the films that could get away with some stuff before censorship and all that kind of stuff came into place, if you haven't seen a lot of those films, this is a definite, definitive pre-code film. There's that, like Scarface and like, you know, the movies, you know, the gangster movies and all that kind of stuff. But this one is different in regards to how it treats people and how it somewhat exploits people with, you know deformed bodies, all that kind of stuff, and it was before they started, you know, keeping a lid up on all that kind of exploitive type stuff. And so this is definitely a movie that you should see before you die because it is a good movie that deals with all that kind of stuff. So I highly recommend it, and I think you guys should give it a chance. And plus, you know, by the same director as Dracula, you'll, you'll be able to see somebody who really made an impact and really exploded with a success like Dracula and then this film wasn't really all that well received critically and a lot not a lot of people went to go see it so it was kind of you saw, kind of witnessing a downfall of somebody who was really talented but now throughout time you know the cult you know following of the film has really put it up there as a classic a cult classic so I think it's definitely a film you must see before you die that is it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this kind of special episode with lots of opinions and we'll see you in the next one. It, it's the remorse that he shows. If it was throughout. the other way around, it's the remorse. You, if it was the other way around, you would have been like, mm. Bro, we'll just keep, well, I'll just film the end of this and then we'll keep talking. No. <laughs> yeah. Wait, ready? Uh, after this. Just say goodbye then, I guess. Okay, so that was. <laughs> that was, we've been. I've been leaving some of that out. <laughs> we've, we've been talking for ages about this. We're getting into a discussion, but you're not going to see that because it's just too rambly. But uh, yeah.